for our near mesosporangia. You can almost see with your naked eye the three lobes. Okay. But the slide starts with uh, that is a focus. And the uh, focus thing is broken on this one, so you can't do it remotely. Does that look about right? Okay, close enough. Uh, this is project number one, your first slide. Now, don't be upset if you see don't see three lobes. Uh, actually, one of them, one of these slides is a perfect slide. Uh, you might see two lobes only, but the idea is that you see sporangia with spores. And the spores, you can see the nucleus of the one end spores, right? Uh, they're kind of kidney bean shaped. And that's all we have for the whispering. Uh, phylum lycopoda, the lycopods, or club mosses. Okay, project number two. This is a male. Alright, they're the antheridia, kind of small. Let's go to 10x. Okay, better. Now we can see the antheridia embedded in the 1N gametophyte. If you want to, I mean, I don't know why, but there's 40x. You're not going to see much. Each of these spermatocytes become a sperm, you know, by the antheridium. Number three, mature strobilis. We have a nice sporophyll here and uh, the sterile central column. And here's the sporangium. But on most of your slides, if you look real closely, you ain't going to see spores. You're going to see like clumps of chromosomes. That means they're undergoing meiosis. Okay? That's the spore mother cells or sporocytes undergoing meiosis. There it is. See the clumps of chromosomes? In the, in the middle like that. But number four is a cross section. And here we can still see the sterile central column. We haven't done xylem and phloem yet. Sporangia. Now these are mature spores. These red uh, circle thingies are spores. And on the outside, what are these? Sporophylls, right? Okay. Uh, so let's see. Uh, FICA, would these be microspores or megaspores? Micro? Neither! Like a podium is homosporous. So they're just plain spores. Tricked you. Okay. <laughs> now, number five. What are the six things you got to find? Megasporophyll, megasporangium. I had to hunt around a lot to find one with four. Yours are going to look like this. You know, you see two. You know? But that's a nice big fat megaspore right there. Microsporophyll, microsporangium, microspores. So those are the six things you got to find on this slide. Okay, the Equisetophyta. I forgot in lecture to go over the canals. I'm sorry. So you won't have that on the lecture test for sure. Might not even have it on the quiz, I don't know. But uh, this is a cross section of stem. There's the central canal. And then the bigger ones are called follicular and the corinal, you can barely see them, they're here. It goes follicular, corinal, follicular, corinal, follicular, corinal. Corinal tongue, sometimes, uh, I think that's probably about the best one there and there. But certainly you can see the central and the follicular canal, right? That's why, w what's stronger? Uh, a hollow pipe made out of steel or a solid rod made out of steel? The pipe, right? That's why bones are hollow. Uh, they impart strength to things. This is a stronger stem because it's hollow. Okay, number seven. We have an LS, longitudinal section. There's the sporophyll, sporangium, and all those dark green black spores. If you see a bunch of stringy spaghetti, those are called elaters attached to the spores. Now, we have a cross-section, number eight. There's the sterile central column. There's the sporangia. There's the sporangia, see it? And there's the plate, the sporophylls, to which the sporangia are attached. Okay, there's some echocetum growing at the Morton Arboretum. The brown stuff, those are the strobili falling apart in May. The green things are the sterile shoots, remember that? Sterile and fertile. The strobilis is bending down. There's the uh, summer shoot or you know green shoot or sterile shoot. Okay, sterile shoot. The Morton Arboretum. That'd be early May. Doesn't need to be a lot up. 
All right, let's get to the ferns, the polypodiopoda, number nine. The use sporangiate, massive sporangia embedded in the leaves, lots and lots of tiny little spores, okay? Everything else is, is what? Leptosporangiates. And we can divide them into two groups. Number ten, the water ferns. So this is Marsilia. We have some embedded in plastic. But here's your slide. Now all water ferns are heterosporous. None of the other ferns are heterosporous. Okay, so only water ferns are heterosporous. Not a lot of room in this sporocarp, you know what I mean? There's your one megaspore and one of these little guys here. Microspores. So you got mega and microspores in the same sporocarp. Looks like a little bean, I'll show you in a minute. Number 11, we have a slide. There's the notch of the fern prothallus. What's another word? Uh, Gametophyte. Okay? So there's the notch area. Students always ask, what, what are these little things? You don't have to know that, but they're called papillae. You know? They probably keep the humidity up. Uh, since that's the notch, these must be the archegonia. Going to high power really ain't going to do you any good. I mean, you see any detail there? You know? These are archegonia, very small. There's the notch. So away from the notch, it looks like this. A lot of rhizoid stringies. And these dark clumps are what? Antheridia, right? And number 12, that used to be a dissection, but you can't buy them anymore. But luckily we have slides in our collection. It's so damn big though. Here's the first root of a young sporophyte. Here's the gametophyte. See, heart-shaped. And what's growing out of it, or attached to it? The to an sporophyte. Keep going up, keep going up. And there's the leaf, the first leaf of a fern frond, right there, getting started. So you got one end and two end plants attached to each other. We have a fern life cycle here with everything labeled for you. Uh, your Eureka chart. And so your slide should look like this, see? There's the root, there's the gametophyte. There's the two ends four up. Okay. Number eleven is a piece of fern leaf. And a lot of people like to like to draw this one for some reason. Uh, uh, it's kind of neat. It's an actual piece of leaf right on the damn slide. Uh, this is what? A saurus. What's a saurus? A group of sporangia. These are veins, by the way. Okay. Veins and a nice saurus. I think it's probably easy to draw, that's why they drew it. Uh, okay, there, we have someone in, in, in preservative here. The dark blood dots are what? The sori. You can take a look at that later. Okay, now this is number 14. How do I know? Because this is definitely a false indusium. See here's the pinna? It kind of wraps around. That's not a separate structure, that's just a leaf. And here's the sporangia in the saurus, uh, pretty poor annulus, I'll tell you that much. Okay, now number 15 is a lot of garbage on this slide. No indusium. There's a uh, halfway decent annulus. But 16 is better. There's a nice indusium. Sporangia with an annulus and spores. Actually, your slides are going to look more like this. I, got, I gave you the mature one. The indusium don't look as good, but the sporangia looks better. Here's the indusium. Isn't that, look at that. Nice annulus and the uh, spore, spores. Thanks to the indusium. Look at that. Nice annulus. Right there. And spores. And there. Annulus with Spores, Bordiac. Okay, or maybe that's a hundred, a thousand power. There's the annulus with spores. Okay, that's number 16. Then you have two dissections. I'll go over them in a minute. They're back here, right by me. Uh, 17 is like a podium. Yours are going to be green, not yellow. This, this is an old one. But the strobilis will be about an inch, inch and a half. Just pull it off, add some liquid for God's sake, you guys don't add liquid, and then rip it apart. You should see horseshoe-shaped sporangia. And 
Uh, that's what it looked like. A horseshoe shaped sporangia on a leaf. What's the leaf called? Sporophyll, right? And then number 18, uh, no, this is in plastic, okay? But that's equicetum with the strobili. Yours is going to look more like this. Now, don't take the whole damn stem. Just cut it off right here. Throw the rest of the plant away. All you want is what? The strobili. And then under, you can see the plates, can't you? It'll be plates, five, six-sided plates. There. So kind of rip it apart. Using the dissecting scope on these watch glasses, add a drop or two of liquid. In the old days, we used to do a dissection, but they don't make them anymore. But I thought I'd show it for old time's sake. Uh, this is real. This is, I mean, it's green and all that. Here's the root. Here's the what? One end gametophyte. And here is the two end sporophyte. Okay. But you got a slide of that now. Okay? All right. Let's quickly go over.